Hello out there. Uh, we have this uh, question that was submitted by someone uh, from one of the quiz questions. If you're lucky enough to get this question and you're still taking your quiz, well, uh, I guess call it a freebie. We're told a flagpole is perpendicular to the horizontal but is on a slope that rises 10 degrees from the horizontal. Uh, we're told then that the pole casts a shadow of 43 feet down the slope uh, and the angle of elevation of the sun measured from the slope is 36 degrees. We want to know how tall the pole is. So we can begin by drawing a picture. So there's our 10 degree slope. There's our flagpole, again perpendicular to the horizontal. Now this question probably could be phrased a little bit better. The angle of elevation being 36 degrees is a little confusing here. Uh, normally we measure el angle of elevation with respect to the horizontal. If they throw this word in here from the slope is 36 degrees. So remember how shadows are made. The sun is going to come across the pole. The pole is going to block it. So that angle from the slope up to the sun is 36 degrees, so the actual angle of elevation of the sun here is actually 46 degrees. Okay, so we're near that's 36 degrees. Now we use a little bit of information from the picture. See, I can continue to drop that flagpole down to the horizontal, and that will form for me a little right triangle there. And that little right triangle. That little right triangle right here is going to have uh, a 10 degree angle, and so we know that, that angle is 80 degrees. Now, because we know that that angle is 80 degrees, we can now figure out this angle in our triangle. And so we know that that has to be 100 degrees. And then, because we have a triangle, we know we have a 36 degree angle and a 100 degree angle. We can then go in and say, well, the other angle has to be 44 degrees. And the last thing we know is that the shadow, the shadow is 43 feet long. Now, another important word here in this sentence was that it cast a shadow down the slope. That's how I knew to draw it this way, as opposed to having the sun on the other side where the shadow is going up the slope. Okay. So now that we have our picture, I'm just going to redraw my picture, putting in all the important information. And I notice here now that I have a side in the angle opposite it. So then I can use the sign, law of signs, since I have another angle, to figure out that side. And that's exactly what we do. We plug everything into the law of sines. And then we can solve for h. And when we do, we get rounding our answer as the directions told us to the nearest tenth of a foot. h is 36.4 feet. I uh, hope, help, hope this helps you out as you're dealing with these law of sines. Please be careful sometimes when you're reading them. Because little things can make a big difference. And this, that the slope is measured from, the slope is 36 degrees, not the angle of elevation is 36 degrees. It leads to a very different result. So please read these carefully. Take the time to try and draw the picture. Usually once you can get a picture, the problems really aren't that hard to solve. But the work is in reading and comprehending and in getting the picture. Uh, again, hope this helps you out. Until next time.